Welcome brother and sister truth seekers, I uh, wanted to do a quick video on this upcoming seasonal transition and uh, you know I hope if, if you get a chance you get out there and try and make some confirmations. I believe Genesis 1.14 said that the heavenly luminaries were to be for time, seasons, for days, and for years and so it's it, it's because of the movements of these lights in the heavens that we understand what time is, especially the concept of a year. Uh, but if you uh, check out my channel, you'll see uh, last year, the results of uh, last year, uh, different people uh, and different things we learned, the effort that was made to confirm that seasonal transition, and I'm excited to see uh, different people will be trying to make confirmations as well this year and uh, so you can check out my channel for, for more information on that just search summer solstice 2019 um, but uh, in a nutshell I if you're gonna there, there's there's just so much to learn I think if you watch the summary video I had a series on it if you watch the summary video that's where I kind of recap everything uh, kind of everything that I learned and I think other people may have learned uh, so if you want more information tips on how to make these kind of confirmations that's the video I would point to but I wanted to make this video for another important reason and that is because this is an opportunity I think to potentially uh, root out some error that I think I'm seeing and I want to bring this to people's attention I you know I've brought this to the attention of various leaders of uh, different you know YouTube channel or calendar who, who are dedicated to calendar research and um, unfortunately <laughs> the, the conversations don't seem to go past the leaders, uh, you know, and I guess, I mean, they've got different things that are put upon their heart, I guess, and it, but it, it just, it hasn't, it hasn't gone far, they're, <laughs> like, I guess I didn't make enough of an impression to them for them to bring it to uh, the people who follow their channels, so I must, I'm going to be starting to make an effort to really bring this out myself I guess uh, you know and so there, there's potentially a big big deal uh, with anyone who thinks you know highly of like quote unquote Dead Sea Scroll calendars whether that's Zadok whether that's a priestly order whether that's Enoch you know there I think there is more and more growing these groups that have different understandings based off of different calendar information found in the Dead Sea Scrolls and I want to talk about something that I've been noticing lately and um, I, I think I'm going to be making more videos that are kind of more to the point, short and sweet, kind of pointing these things out. Uh, but for those who are interested specifically in this upcoming seasonal transition, the head of summer, the first day of summer, the first day of the fourth solar month, I'm going to talk briefly, well, we'll see what it ends up being, but I'm going to talk about that here, um, and, but then I'll probably follow up with rapid fire succession of other videos that kind of get kind of out. <laughs> get the message out there uh, with more a little more uh, advertising tactics but for now for those of you who have stumbled into this video I will tell you what's uh, what has been on my heart and mind and what I think I'm seeing and the potential error I think we need to be aware of so um, the essentially like I said the, the well the dis there's a disconnect I'm seeing and uh, lately it's just been becoming more and more coming more and more into focus but that is the importance of the seasons like people I, I think months is a very big topic and people struggle with the concept of months and they try and figure are they solar months are they are they lunar months are they calendar months calendar months being independent of any luminary witness um, but their last 
year, another YouTube channel came out with a video that was called The Head of Summer. And, y you know, I, uh, in this video, there was constant discussion about the Days of Remembrance. The Dead Sea Scrolls uses this phrase, Days of Remembrance. And I did make a video about it last year to kind of try and respond to that guy's video, but I spelled it Days of Remembrance instead of Days of Remembrance. So I don't know if, because <laughs> I spelled it wrong, I don't know if people just didn't get it. Um, but, so you can check that one out if you kind of want to recap of that, or if you check the comment section below uh, that video that the other brother posted, the head of summer, you can see the discussion I had with him. And, uh, but essentially, in a nutshell, he kept talking about how the Book of Jubilees it, and maybe other of the Dead Sea Scroll documents are talking about how the seasons begin on different months, the heads of the months. The point of his video was the head of summer. And um, the thing is, uh, so let's see here if I can pull up Jubilees maybe. So this was, I think, Jubilees chapter 6 verse 23 is the key verse that, but over and over again in this video he kept pointing out how, uh, you know, the the heads of the, you know, the head of the first month, the head of the fourth month, the head of the seventh month, and the head of the tenth month are supposed to be these days of remembrance, okay, and uh, which are also the days of the seasons of the four divisions of the year. So this is, this is, this is the important part here, but essentially, um, Oh, you know, I wonder if I can find that. I was, I was going to try and find that video to zero in on some of the chats. But I'm just going to talk about it for now. And like I said, I am going to be digging into this more. Because, you know, <laughs> I do this out of love and in all humility, willing to be shown I'm wrong. But, uh, you know, like I, like I said, I, or maybe I didn't fully explain it, but I, I have taken this to the leaders of different calendar channels and the discussions, uh, you know, they just end up, there, there, there's no response to this. Uh, I mean, it, there, there's a detachment from reality, I think, and it's just not being seen, so I, I need to, I need to kind of bring this out in love, in iron, sharpening iron, and in all humility, I could be wrong, but I have a passion for this, and, uh, creators put it out on my heart to put it out there to try and sharpen others or myself, so, but anyway, here's the thing, these seasonal days, um, it's important this term, Days of Remembrance, I don't know if you see that anywhere else in the Dead Sea Scrolls. I'm going to have to look into it if it's just a Book of Jubilees thing. But I think you do see the concept of, uh, you know, the, the first day of the first month, the fourth month, the seventh month, and the tenth month being seasonal divisions. But this verse, I think, says it the most clearly. But the reason that I'm, I'm focusing in on this is because, and I, like I said, I kind of wish I could pull up the, the summary that I got. I mean, you check out this video, Head of Summer, uh, just search for that on, uh, I don't really want to mention names, which is kind of a shame. Like, I, I, I've, I have gotten a little, a little, uh, I don't know what, I don't know how to say it. I mean, it's just crazy world, even among truth seekers. I don't think I've had any aggression from this brother, thankfully, but some of the other calendar leaders in these Sadoc communities, I have been, uh, I have been attacked. <laughs> like, and, uh, I, you know, people talking about intellectual property rights and, uh, you know, it's just trying to make merchandise of the truth and, like, threatening, you know, all this garbage of um, slander and stuff. And, and the point of these discussions is not to slander anyone. The point of this is to try and foster iron sharpening iron. I'm not... It, there's nothing more, there's nothing less. I'm not out to attack or destroy anyone, but I think I do see some error 
uh, and I, you know, in love, I need to try and start bringing this to the attention of the many people who just follow and perhaps don't dig as deeply. Maybe they're, uh, unfortunately, I mean, so busy, that, um, th and this could be the case for all of us from time to time, but th they're so busy they're just kind of getting spoon-fed from the leaders uh, rather than digging in deep on these things for themselves. So anyway, I'm in love. Uh, I am going to be coming and bringing these things out into the open. But the, the thing is, um, the summary, if you check the comments below that discussion that we had, you'll see at one point he summarized and he essentially said, you know, the calendar, it's simple. The seasons begin when you start your, when you start the year. And he essentially said what you see here, the first month, uh, the f you know, the first day of the first month is a day of remembrance, and it's the first day of the season of spring. Uh, and it's the first day of the year, and this starts on a Wednesday, or blah, blah, blah. The thing is, um, the seasons do not always start on a Wednesday. Uh, you know, there, and, and even even this gentleman who runs this YouTube channel, who put out the head of summer, I believe he even admits it, as do other leaders of the Dead Sea Scroll calendar groups admit that the, the solar cycle, like, this is the disconnect. Season, this, this, was, this is in a nutshell what, what the problem is, and I see. It was with the statement that said, seasons begin when you start your calendar year like essentially the cause of the season is just because I chose to start the year on this day and, and this is what it has to be because this is what we read in the Dead Sea Scrolls. Like we read the first day of the seasons, these days of remembrance have to coincide with the first days of these months. Uh, but it's, th it's not, um, you know, seasons are not starting on the days that men pick to intercalate and start calendars on. Seasons are independent of any decisions of men. Like I heard at one point there were different, I mean, he might have even mentioned it in his video or maybe another video, but people are pulling straws to try and figure out which way they should intercalate. Uh, but the point is, seasons do not begin on, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're independent of any decision of man. Seasons are uh, a solar phenomenon. That, that's it. Seasons are the results uh, of the sun slightly shifting uh, north and south over the, the course of the year. Like, obviously, we see the sun progressing from the east to the west every single day. Um, but in addition to that, it's also shifting a little bit north and south every day. Uh, and that's what gives us the seasons. In, in modern scientific terms, it's, uh, it's referred to as the, um, the tropical year. And the tropical year, it seems, is something like 365 0.24 days, and that doesn't necessarily mean Enoch is in error. I'm not going to go into any anything about that other than to say Enoch talks about 364 stations, positions of the sun that the sun takes in, uh, in the north-south shifting that it does to give us the seasons. But anyway, the point is seasons happen because of the position of the sun. The north shall south shifting of the sun and uh, you know when the season is farthest away uh, i'm i'm in like north america so when the season is uh, when the sun is uh, in the south farthest south that's when we're gonna have winter and when the season is in its northmost position which is approaching quickly we're gonna have summer the longest day of the year and so the seasons are based off of an exact position of the sun, an exact measurable position of the sun. That is what seasons are based off of. That's, that's what logic dictates, that's what modern science dictates, that's what Enoch says. Like Enoch in very meticulous detail describes how the sun is moving through various portals and gates and yielding different seasons. And by the way, there's a different term used in Enoch, the intercalary days. Enoch does not mention this thing that the Dead Sea Scrolls is talking about, these days of remembrance. 
Enoch talks about the intercalary days, not days of remembrance. So anyway, um, the point is, if you can't already see it, is, you know, the, the solar cycle, the tropical year, is something like 365.24 days. That's what it seems to be. And again, that's not necessarily the Enoch's in error, but that, that's another topic for another time. But the point of it is, it is 365.24-ish days. So there's an odd number of days, approximately 25% of a day. And it, so the north-south shifting of the sun takes that many days to complete its year cycle, its tropical year cycle, its seasonal year cycle. The point is that extra 0.25 days constantly keeps that cycle moving and progressing, meaning that you can't pick a specific day of the week and say that that day is always going to be the first day of spring. You can't pick like a Wednesday and say that's always going to be the first day of spring. The actual day of spring is going to keep moving as long as the solar cycle has this odd increment of 0.25 days. It's, it's going to constantly be shifting. And so the reason why this is a problem is because of the way the Book of Jubilees is talking about it. So the, the Book of Jubilees is, and, and like I said, if you watch this Head of Seasons video, you will see him constantly talking about how the, the first days of the seasons are to coincide with the first day of various months. The first day of the first month, the first day of the fourth month, the first day of the seventh month, and the first day of the tenth month. But the problem is that will only work if you are talking about solar months. And solar months are, they're, they're the same thing as seasons. They're solar seasons. Solar months are dependent upon a position of the sun in the heavens. Uh, and not, um, uh, not uh, a tied to a specific day of the week. Like, solar months fit like fingers in, in a glove in, uh, in the seasons. Like, they match perfectly with the solar seasons. Like, the first day of the first solar month is the first day of the first solar season of spring. The first day of the fourth solar month is the first day of the second solar season of summer, and on and on. But the, the point, so, so the point I'm trying to make, if you, like again, if you can't see this, I think there's a disconnect um, in these Dead Sea Scroll calendar groups. Call it Zadok, call it Enoch, call it Priestly Order. If you're trying to start your calendar on a specific day of the week, then that, that is, it might some of the time line up with the solar cycle. Every now and again you might find yourself actually starting the first day of your year on the first day of spring, the solar season of spring, but more often than that, it will not line up with the actual solar seasons. And so then there is, if there isn't a translational error here, uh, and again, check out the, the Head of Summer video in the discussion below that video where he kind of summarized, uh, I, I wish I had that, but yeah, I, I, I can find that and put them in comments if someone has a question about that. But, I mean, essentially, it, it, it's this, it, it's what you see here. And, and here's another important point, like, notice how it says the four divisions of the year. Like, it, it's talking about the seasonal days, and, and in case you haven't, no, you haven't picked up on this already, I'm not saying necessarily that the Zadok, oh, goodness, <laughs> I'm not saying that, you know, these YouTube channel calendar counts, you know, invented something. And, uh, you know, it's their own error, because a lot of them kind of have this fundamental string. Any of them that are using this calendar begins on a Wednesday thing. They're pulling it from these various Dead Sea Scroll calendar texts, and that is the problem. That is my concern. 
the Dead Sea Scroll calendar text because if this is what this is showing me here is whoever wrote this the, they themselves did not understand the creator's times and I could just go into a very long discussion and I do um, if you go on my YouTube channel and search for the playlist tab there's a YouTube ch playlist there that says testing the Dead Sea Scroll calendars and it's a playlist I'm going to be adding to and continuing because like I said it, it just you know I, I need to put the, the creators put this upon my heart to share it in love and humility iron sharpening iron and I've tried to talk to the leaders of these different groups and it really doesn't go past the leaders so now I need to just blast this out uh, you know for everyone who who is seeking to find it but so the the point of this is I'm concerned that the book of Jubilees is an error and you know it's causing these other YouTube channels to be an error and it's not just the book of Jubilees it is any of these calendar documents in the Dead Sea Scrolls that are saying that the year has to begin on a specific day of the week this is a nice concept you know the whole creation week cycle matching and you count whatever it is four five six and you land at Sabbath but that is all it is, I think. It is just a nice concept that people are putting so much stock in trying to make this concept work, but the consequence is, and they think it's so important for the Sabbath, but the consequence is, you are potentially shifting. If you're not starting the calendar on the first day of spring, if you're just one day off, you are potentially shifting all of the Creator's holy times. All of them are going to be off. And so, I mean, it, it, it's just almost, I, I, I tell you, I feel so strongly that this is some group very similar, I mean, it is, it has to be, to the, to the doctrines that Yeshua was specifically debunking. Like, you look and he specifically, you will find doctrines that he specifically debunked, like the, the hate doctrines, hate your enemy, animals falling into pits on the Sabbath, how to wash your pat, pots, like verbatim things that Yeshua debunked are contained in these scrolls. And I was about to say, like, um, you know, it's, it's, like, it's like straining for a gnat and swallowing a camel, like this Sabbath thing. Like your ca the creation cycle, yeah, it's a nice concept, uh, dare I say tradition, you know, uh, but the reality is, you know, there's a disconnect, and if your year, I mean, the seasons are not subject to begin based off of different interpolations, the seasons are happening like clockwork. You know, regardless of any decisions men make, the seasons are going to happen right on cue. And um, so, so you know, if if someone's going to try and claim what you see here in Jubilees, like the first day of the month is the, f you know, uh, the f these are the days of remembrance, a term, again, that you don't see in Enoch. Enoch talks about the intercalary days, which are correctly uh, correlated and synchronized uh, based off of position of the sun. Like uh, the, the intercalary days mentioned in Enoch are based on the position of the sun, which he talks about, uh, you know, which, which actually correlate to solar months and solar seasons, uh, you know. And so, uh, but these days of remembrance, and it talked about, and, and this concept of, I mean, so this concept is not necessarily wrong. Uh, th that the first day of the first month, uh, the seventh month, uh, the fourth month, seventh month, and tenth month, they, they should be the, the first days of the seasons but that will not always be the case if you are choosing to start your calendar on a Wednesday. And that's because of the 365.25 day cycle. Every four years, it's, it's gonna shift a day. And so if, if the first day of spring was on a Wednesday, in four more years, it's gonna be either on a Thursday or a, 
or a Tuesday land it's just going to keep shifting by one day every four years it's going to shift and so yeah it just uh, I, I I just had to kind of uh, like I said this has been bubbling up inside of me uh, I I don't have much free time unfortunately so I just I just putting this out there for whoever may come across it if someone actually wanted to look into these days of remembrance like I think this is key I think this is key like the more someone examines the concept of the seasons and even how the Dead Sea Scrolls try and talk about the seasons I think this is key like, people try and say, oh, the calendar is, uh, you know, it's, it's this detached number cycle thing, and the seasons, uh, that's an agricultural calendar, and they're different, but, and, and the seasons have nothing to do with time, but I just like to remind people, you know, spring, time, summer, time, harvest, time, winter, time, like, these are time concepts, they're, you know, it is clockwork, <laughs> the seasons are clockworks, a brilliant, brilliant masterful creation uh but it happens right on cue and it seems calendars quote unquote calendars are just man's attempt to try and come up with different calculations to stay in sync with the seasons when i think all man really needs to do is pay attention watch for the signs per genesis 114 like the luminaries are going to give signs we can know what the divisions of these seasons are and if we know what the divisions of these seasons are i mean you know like if, you, if you've woken up to the fact that you know the, the bible translations aren't saying in the new moon that they're actually saying in the new months and you dig a little deeper and you find out you know 13th month is never mentioned in the scriptures those lunar 13 months you know you can you're eventually kind of steered towards solar months and uh, stellar months, you know, and it's just, let me see, what else can I mention here? Like, there's more even, even right in here. Like, this is talking about the four divisions of the year. The four divisions of the year are the seasons, and I just want to point to what Enoch says about it, too. Like, uh, you know, right here, the intercalated days, which divide in the, the four portions of the year. So there are four seasons in this thing that is called in Enoch a year and in Jubilees it's uh, it's called a year this thing is a year and it's saying there are four divisions the seasons are <laughs> the four seasons of the year and I just want to say again if you try and start the seasonal year cycle on a Wednesday all the time or whatever it is like that's not always going to work uh, you're you're gonna be you're gonna be you're gonna be uh, what do you say truncating uh, or extending a season. What am I trying to say? You're gonna end up with like it, let, let's go to the extreme. Let's just go to the extreme so you can hopefully kind of see this. Let us say someone was going off of the lunar month. And, you know, it just so happened to be the year that there was, uh, you know, a 13th lunar month. And it was their understanding that the season of spring should begin with, like, the first day of, uh, you know, spring. Uh, the first day of the first month, kind of like what these Dead Sea Scrolls say here. So they could potentially be starting the season of spring a whole lunar month into the season of spring. So lunar months, let's just say they're approximately 28, 30 days. So just for quick and easy math if they're starting the the first day of their year is starting like 30-ish days into the first day of spring that would mean their year is going to have 4.33 seasons or it's going to have 3.67 seasons it won't have four seasons in its year. It's going to have like these fractions of seasons in the year. So that was an extreme example to hopefully get you to see it. But the same thing happens if you are intercalating or adjusting or starting your calendar on a specific day of the week and you're, 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 you're bisecting the seasons. Like you're going to end up, it's smaller, grant you, 
uh, you know, it, but it's it's going to be like four point you know one or three point nine uh, seasons in the year, and that's not what Enoch says, and that's not what Jubilee said. And I just like to encourage you, like I do believe there is a better solution. There is something that is exact, you know, and that is for seasons in the year, for divisions of the year, for portions of the year, as Enoch says. You know, and I, I believe it, I do believe in solar seasons, like just, and, and solar months, like just stop and ask yourself real quick, like I know when I started getting into this, uh, some of you will remember Rachel Elliar, and you listen to Rachel Elliar, and she talks about solar months, and solar calendars, and I just have to tell you, people I think just take these things for granted, and they just think, oh yeah, we're, we're on solar months and we're on solar calendars, but they're not. These are not solar calendars. These are not solar seasons. Like this, if you're, tr if you're starting your season on, uh, on a day that was not like the first day of spring, you know, it, then, then you have a calendar season. That's not a solar season. That's that's just some independent thing. Same with the solar month. If you're if you're starting, you know your your months, and they're not correlating to the exact position of the sun in the heavens, then you have a calendar month. It's not a solar month anymore. So, oh, like I said, <laughs> I just I just don't have much time, and I just felt I've really got to just start saying this for whoever is going to stumble in here and come across these points, but I am going to start making short, to the point videos, trying to bring out these things for people to see and to think about and pray about and test out. And I mean this, like I've been, I've been talking to another brother and I've been describing this as like a tightly wrapped onion. Like the, <laughs> the Dead Sea Scroll calendars, I'm starting to see it's like a tightly wrapped onion. And if we can, you gotta like peel away one layer at a time. And I think the layer to start with is this disconnect with seasons. And right here in Jubilees, or any of the Dead Sea Scroll calendar text that talk about how the calendar starts on the fourth day of the week, if if they also are trying to say that the first day of the first month, the first day of the fourth month, the first day of the seventh month, and the first day of the tenth month are correlating with the days of seasons, which are the four divisions of the years, then that is an error. I'm afraid that that's an error. I'm afraid that that is leaven, ancient leaven, which potentially has the potential to leaven the whole calendar lump. Like, I don't, I don't think this is a coincidence. I think this is there's so much similarity to what Yeshua came to like preach against, and I mean to to fully preach the truth about and to try and clarify all the confusion of the day, you know. And there there's so much to say, and I, I have just been shamefully too busy to get into it more. But I think people are starting to look for solutions. Uh, there you know there's unrest in different calendar camps, and, uh, I, I think, you know, I, uh, please help me, <laughs> like, if the, if anything in here is speaking to you, please share this, if not the video, just share an awareness of some of these points, uh, give it a like, like, help to, to get the word out any way you can, because like I said, I, I have tried to reach out to the leaders, and it really, you know, it, it doesn't seem to go very far, uh, and I, 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 I don't, you know, like I said, I, <laughs> yeah, I imagine they must all be busy too and have things that they want to focus on, but, you know, like I said, some, in some cases, thousands of people are following these different groups, and they're just, uh, potentially going along with it, getting spoon-fed, and they're just not digging in for themselves, and, um, and, uh, you know, the, the teachers of these groups are not bringing these points out that I'm bringing out, so I need to bring them out by myself, uh, but, uh, you know, I, I have, I have peace, well, sort of, I, I actually, I, I don't have very much peace because, because I, I do feel ashamed that I don't have more, more time to give to this, I, I, you know, I don't have time to make pretty videos that dazzle 
people, you know, that tickle the ears and the eyes and this, you know, just entertain people. What I bring is what, what has been put upon my heart, you know, in love and humility I share. And I try and foster this iron sharpening iron, you know, I might only be supposed to take this message so far for someone and it's just going to ignite a fire in them and they'll take it the rest of the way. But there, I think a lot of the Dead Sea Scrolls have been given a free pass because they were ancient and it seems like it was just so miraculous that they were found to begin with. But I think some serious investigation and some serious testing needs to be done to prove all things. And I would just caution, I would just caution people, think twice, think twice. Like, if, if you thought that your calendar was, because I think a lot of people are under the impression, this impression, they take things for granted. But if you thought as part of the fundamental building blocks of your Dead Sea Scroll calendar understanding was solar months, like I said, Rachel Elliott talked about that, solar calendars. If you tell people it's a solar calendar, like, y you, you, please listen to what I'm saying. Like, if, if the calendar has chosen to start on a specific day of the week, you will no longer be in sync with solar months or solar seasons. You'll be one day off, and you'll completely shift all of the Creator's holy times. All of them. Like, you know, the first day of the seventh month is the day of trumpets. That's the first day of fall you know <laughs> and uh you know it, depending on which way you intercalated that year you might be celebrating the day of trumpets in the in the season of summer because you're not in sync with the seasons you know uh, so anyway oh there's so much of my heart i just want to share but i'm gonna have to i just it, it's getting late I, I think that's it for now um i just wanted to bring that out because the um the seasonal transition is approaching and I think, like I said last year, I think I kind of messed that up because when I made a video to try and talk about this, I, I spelled it wrong, so I, I don't know if people may have actually been searching for answers, they might have missed it, this important point, because I spelled it wrong, days of remembrance instead of days of remembrance. But anyway, uh, I guess that's it for now, like I said, please uh, let me know if you have any thoughts on this, but if this spoke to you, please share it. Time is short. I, I guess we have, we do have some time to, uh, to kind of, uh, make sure we're all on the right track, uh, before the, the fall holy days get here. Um, but there is a, there is an exciting seasonal transition coming up too, so stay tuned for more, uh, more on trying to make those confirmations, and let me know if you were planning to make confirmations of your own, and I guess that's it for now, shalom, and may Abba bless you as you continually seek his truth in love with a pure heart, and I say it like that, and I mean it, because I don't think He's going to reveal truth if you're not seeking it with a pure heart. I, I think people are allowed to kind of wander in different, uh, and get kind of stagnant and wander in different rabbit holes because possibly their motives are wrong. And I, I've seen this. Uh, like I said, unfortunately, there are some calendar groups out there that all they really seem to care about is their intellectual property rights and the fact that it is their platform and they can say what they want on their platform and they don't seem terribly interested in trying to seek out the truth of the matter. They're not seeking the truth with a pure heart. They have a motive to just build their own kingdom and it's, it, it has so, so I mean it. <laughs> Seek the truth in love with a pure heart. May Abba bless you as you seek the truth in love, interacting in love with your brothers and sisters. Like we can have these discussions in love. Uh, you know, I, even though I'm sad to see these things happening in these different groups, uh, I, you know, I still love them. I'm a little scared at times, but, <laughs> you know, I, I, 
I love them, I say these things in love, I can be wrong, let's discuss this in love, iron sharpening iron, and, uh, you know, truly, may Abba bless you as you continually seek out his truth and love with a pure heart.